You may find it necessary to drop items from a category in your gradebook. There are two options when dropping items from a category. You can assign a number of the highest scoring items to drop per user, or you can assign the lowest scoring items to drop per user. <clears throat> now you should note that it's really a good idea to wait until the end of the semester before you drop a grade item within a category. If you set up your gradebook categories to drop items before there are any grades recorded, the first grades you enter in the category will be dropped automatically, leaving your gradebook unbalanced. This will continue until you have entered all of your grades. Only then will the grade items in each category drop. So what we're saying here is that if you drop one of the first, the lowest grade, and you have that set up before the semester begins, when the first grade goes in, that item is dropped and the students appear like they don't have any score or any grade, and it may confuse them. Now, to do this, we click on the Grades tab on the nav bar, and you'll be taken into the Manage Grades area. Now, there are two conditions that must be met before you can drop any grades. The first is that the grade items must reside in a category, because you can only drop grade items that are in, a, in categories. And the second is the points of all the grade items within the category must be the same. So what I'm talking about here in a points grade book is I have these categories here, so I've met the first criteria. Now the second criteria, if you look at this category, these items have different point values. These items have different point values. These items have different point values. This, these items do not. Now it doesn't mean that I can't change it if I want to, but if that's how your gradebook is set up, then you're not going to be able to have a, 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 drop the lowest grade in this particular category unless I change that. So I'm going to choose this category and drop the lowest grade. I'm going to click on the context menu next to the grade category and I'm going to click edit grade item. What I need to do is click the checkbox next to distribute points across all items. I'm going to enter how many points I'm going to distribute across, which means that every single one of those grade items within that category is 50 points. Then I'm going to enter the number of non-bonus items for, to drop for either the highest or the lowest grade. So if I choose, let's say, one here, and that means dropping the highest non-bonus item option is used to drop the user's highest grade in the category for, that fi for the final grade. That's what the highest means. Normally we're usually dropping the lowest, so if I say 1 and it's got to be a non-bonus, dropping the lowest non-bonus items option is used to drop user's lowest grades in the category from the final grade. So this will drop the lowest grade in that category for the student. If I want to do two, I can do two. You do as many as you want. Click Save and Close, and it'll say Save Successfully. Now there's no real indication right here that your grades have been, that the grade has been dropped. However, if I look at the Enter Grades area, let me go to the Enter Grades area here, And I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to the category that I had dropped the lowest grade. There we go. And what you're going to see there in the discussion forums, you're going to see this exclamation point. This exclamation point means that this is the lowest grade and it has been dropped. And if I click on that, this grade item, that's how you know that that item is not being calculated into the, um, into the final grade. Now, how would a student know that? Well, I'm going to click on the student's name here. I'm going to go into the preview. And from the student's perspective, when they look at that category, they're going to see that that grade is dropped. So this is why if you don't have all the grades in for that grade category, the first one is going to be dropped. And it'll be a little confusing for the student because they'll think that, why did I get a 90 and it's dropped? So it's best to wait till the end of the semester.